Imagine driving down the highway and your car is charging itself as you go. There are no stops, no searching for the next charging station, no worrying about running out of battery, no cables, and no waiting. You just keep driving, and as you rack up the miles, energy is flowing straight into your electric vehicle from the road beneath your wheels. While this might sound like science fiction, this is the reality that's already shaping the future of transportation. Roads that can charge cars as they drive are one of the most significant technological breakthroughs in mobility in recent years. And in a few years, they could completely change how we look at electric cars and the future of travel. Why is this such a big deal? Electric vehicles have become a symbol of an eco-friendly modern lifestyle. Every major automaker has their own EV lineup. Cities across the US and around the world are discussing bans on gasoline engines, governments are pushing for massive investments in charging infrastructure, and even here, electric cars are becoming a more common sight on American highways. Yet the biggest challenge remains the same. Charging is slow, inconvenient, and the infrastructure is nowhere near what we'll need in the coming years. Every EV owner knows the anxiety of running low on charge mid-trip, or the frustration of waiting at a busy charging station that's either full or far off your planned route. That's why innovators worldwide are racing to develop better, faster, more convenient charging, and dynamic wireless charging while driving is the furthest we've come. The basic idea is surprisingly simple, even though the technology behind it is anything but. Think of a wireless charger for your phone. Just drop your device on a pad and energy flows into it through electromagnetic induction. No cables required. Now imagine the same idea scaled up and built into the pavement. Special coils are embedded under the surface of the road, generating a magnetic field. Your vehicle has a receiver coil that picks up this energy and feeds it directly into the car's battery. It's called dynamic wireless charging because it works while you're moving. As you maintain a steady speed, your car's battery is topped up by the road itself. No stops, no waiting, no plugging in. Pilot projects are already running in several countries, and the results are impressive. The most well-known name in the field is the Israeli company Electrion, which has installed test sections in Israel, Germany, France, Norway, and the United States. In Israel, there's been a bus line for years that runs between the airport and the city without ever stopping to plug in. The bus gets its power directly from the road as it goes, the principle is that copper coils are built into selected sections under the pavement and connected to the grid. These coils only activate when a vehicle equipped with the receiver passes over. No wasted electricity, no constant radiation, everything is based on vehicle detection. As soon as the car passes over a charging carpet, energy begins flowing instantly into its battery, and onboard electronics determine whether and how much charging is needed. The same principle is being tested in Germany, for example in Karlsruhe, where wireless charging for city buses and trucks is underway. France and Sweden are running additional pilot projects aiming to bring this technology to highways and major roads. In the US, the first public roads equipped with this technology are being built in Michigan, where Electrion and other companies have received strong local support. The goal is clear, to create corridors where electric vehicles and buses can drive without stopping and remain charged at all times. So what does this look like in practice? Imagine a busy road with a few hundred meters of charging sections every few miles. Any car driving that route can sip a few kilowatt hours of energy at each segment, making it possible to drive almost indefinitely without ever stopping to recharge. The power output of these sections isn't massive, typically several dozen kilowatts per vehicle, but it's more than enough for smooth top-ups while driving. The key advantage is that you never again have to worry about where to charge or whether your range will be enough the road takes care of it for you. Why hasn't this rolled out everywhere yet? The first reason is obvious, cost. Installing coils and connecting them to the grid is still relatively expensive, especially when retrofitting old roads. For new roads though, it's quickly becoming a small fraction of total construction costs. The second reason is that vehicles need a special receiver, which isn't standard in most current EVs, but manufacturers are already planning for this. Tesla, Hyundai, Volvo, Renault and others are all testing wireless charging in various forms, and it's likely that in the future, the receiver will be a standard feature in electric vehicles. Wireless road charging has other benefits you might not see right away. If the technology becomes widespread, you could build cars with smaller batteries, because you no longer need massive range on a single charge. Cars could be lighter, cheaper, and their production would be more environmentally friendly. The roads themselves would become smart infrastructure, able to monitor traffic 
manage energy use, and even bill for charging based on miles driven. Combine that with autonomous vehicles and the possibilities explode. Cars could charge themselves as needed, anytime, anywhere, with no human intervention. Of course, there are limits. Charging in rain, snow, or on very busy roads is technically more complex, but tests show the technology is reliable even in bad weather. Standardization is also a hurdle. Every company currently has slightly different technical solutions, but the first international standards are already emerging and automakers are collaborating on common protocols. Safety is another concern, such as what happens if a vehicle not meant for the system drives over a charging segment. But so far, all tests show the technology is safe for other vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists. Where is this heading? If we can extend charging sections to key highways and city routes, electric vehicles could run virtually non-stop with no range anxiety and no lengthy charging stops. City transit would be more efficient. Electric buses could run on smaller, cheaper batteries and be lighter, cutting costs and emissions. Logistics would be simpler because electric trucks could handle long distances without detailed planning. For private vehicles, the main argument against EVs, limited range and difficult charging, would vanish. It's expected that in a few years, the first long road segments will be operational in Europe and probably later in the US. Pilot corridors are already being built between major cities, testing not just cars but especially public transit and freight. The first commercial deployments are only a few years away. Meanwhile, costs are dropping and automakers are integrating the receivers into new models. In 10 years, roads that charge your car as you drive could be as normal as public Wi-Fi or smart traffic lights. When you think about it, this is the logical next step. The entire history of transportation is about making travel faster, more convenient, and more independent. Electric mobility brought silent operation, zero emissions, and lower operating costs. But it's always run up against the limitations of charging. Wireless charging built into the road could be the breakthrough that removes those last obstacles. This is one of those technologies that isn't just a sci-fi fantasy or something stuck in a lab. It's real. The first vehicles are already on the road, and if development keeps moving this fast, we could all be charging on the go very soon. Maybe in a few years, you won't even remember the last time you had to think about where to charge your car. You'll travel across states without ever glancing at your battery percentage. The road will handle everything, and you'll just keep driving. And that future is starting right now. Subscribe us for more videos.